Hello and good morning. Nice to be with you. Sun shining at the moment, but it's still very, very cold. Uh, this morning, I want to talk to you about the Paul's letter to the Ephesians. And uh, some time ago, I remember seeing a commentary on this letter of Paul's, and it was entitled the wealth walk and warfare of the christian quite a striking title i thought by a lady called ruth paxson who had written it the wealth the walk the warfare of the christian and it was a simple ana analysis uh, the first three verses first three chapters rather were to do with the wealth of the christian and the verses, uh, chapters four and five, to do uh, with the walk or life of the Christian, and chapter six, the warfare. Just let me mention one or two verses. In uh, chapters one to three, the wealth of the uh, Christian, the key verse is verse three in chapter one, where it says, <clears throat> Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, <coughs> it opens that up a little bit in the first chapter, where it reminds us that through Christ, <clears throat> we are God's sons and daughters. Through Christ, our sins are forgiven. And through Christ, we've received the Holy Spirit, the guarantee of our eternal well-being. And there's more in the chapters. Do read chapters 1 to 3. And then it goes on to the walk of the Christian. Excuse me, let me just read a verse. <coughs> I do apologise. <clears throat> In uh, chapter 4 and verse 1 it says, Live a life worthy of the calling you have received. And in chapter 5 verse 2, Live a life of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself for us. Some versions use the walk in love, other versions have live in love. But there we are. The walk of the Christian in the light of the wealth, in the light of all that we have in Christ, then let us live consistently. Sometimes say, don't we, let's walk the talk, not just talking about it, but living it. And that's what we want to do, to live it uh, worthily as Christians, as children of God. And then chapter 6 uh, speaks of the uh, warfare. In verse 11, put on the whole armour of God. We're reminded in chapter 6 that there is a spiritual warfare and the devil will try to make us doubt and uh, disobey what God has said. That's how he <clears throat> tempted Adam and Eve, wasn't it? He questioned God's word and he denied God's word and foolishly they believed him with sad consequences. And then Jesus similarly was tempted in the devil, Matthew chapter 4, and he was tempted by the devil to do uh, his own thing. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> but Jesus said uh, to the devil, get behind me, Satan. You to worship God and serve him only. And Jesus used the sword of the Spirit. And uh, we are, when, when, the, when we're tempted... Uh, to disobey God's word, then 
let's resist that temptation and uh, remember that it's part, it's part of the Christian life that we will be tempted uh, but when it comes to resist and uh, look to the Lord and remain faithful to him so there are the uh, a few thoughts just this morning concerning uh, Paul's letter to the Ephesians, the wealth, the walk and the warfare of the Christian. God bless you. Let's just have a brief prayer. Again, Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for its truth. We thank you for the reminder of all that you have freely given to us in our Lord Jesus Christ, in time and for eternity. And we pray that we may walk worthily of uh, our call to be your children. And when we are tempted, that we may resist, as Jesus did, and continue to do your will. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, well, please to be with you. Excuse my coffee, I'm sorry about that. And uh, look forward to being with you next week. Okay, God bless.